Hey folks, how y'all doing? Third flight, third flight of the OMP Super Decathlon. Third flight, and uh, second flight, I was coming down on a downhill dive, full speed, air pressure blew that uh, receiver hatch right off, just like the, the video said. I did do the underhand, or the under cow, um, air hole but I didn't do the one in the tail so I'm going to do that running a a spectrum I gotta slow down if I get going too fast I'm gonna blow that battery hatch off again anyways yeah that uh, battery hatch came right off you got all you got plenty of air cooling coming in to cool all your electronics and your battery and everything but the problem is unless you give it away for that air to get out air has got to go somewhere and uh, basically it went right out in my battery or my receiver hatch on top and just blew it right off and uh, luckily my club has a golf cart and Oh, the whites are nice. So I went and rode around. I mean, a bright red uh, object that's uh, shiny. Of course, sh showed up just like I knew it would. And I was able to spot it and picked it up. Try not to blind you. Boy, what a good looking plane. What a good looking plane. And I'm running the uh, Spectrum AR410 and Timbless receiver, enter. And, uh, oh man, that was a great landing, great landing. Um, I'm probably going to switch to a six channel and the only reason is the only reason i'm going to switch to a six channel is the lights that come with this plane it uh, has a light controller and you plug that into a uh i guess a three position switch and you can change the light pattern from flashing to slow flashing to well i don't know what what all you know but with a four channel everything's used up and i'm using the bind as uh just for power so i don't think i can use the bind like that possibly Let's see if i can do a knife edge with this thing well what a nice plane What is it flag attracts so well? In my field though, it's a huge field, huge club as far as land mass. You've got to keep moving if you're in the grass. Cause them fire ants will say, mmm, we love you, we love you. I'll tell you right now, This time of the day right now, dusk, my favorite time of the day. Absolute favorite time of the day. Especially for flying. Oh boy. Man, I like this plane. She f just flies so beautifully. Time remaining, three minutes. Just so sweet and docile. But that's the way I'm, I've got her trimmed. Like I said, I got 50% throws on elevator and uh, um, aler or a uh, aileron. Uh, the ailerons, yeah. 
because she's got some huge control surfaces. Let me just show you real quick. Okay, this is my low rates is what I'm flying in, and that's 50% throws, and that's plenty. Of, and look at the elevator, 50% on the elevator. Now I've got 70% on the rudder, so I feel like I didn't. But here is 100% throws. See, that's 3D. No, <laughs> I, I don't. Nothing against 3D, but I'm not a 3D pilot. And uh, I like to. I mean, I like to do the basic aerobatics you know loops and rolls and stuff but I just like I knew this bird would be touch and go machine let's see if we can't do that again Like I say, I'm not running any kind of a uh, uh, real great touch and go there. I'm not running any kind of uh, gyro or stabilization of any type through my nice flat turn there. Gotta remember, I can't go crazy. I'll lose my hatch again. Time remaining, two minutes. All right, let's work her down here. Start working off some altitude here. Yeah, that's better. Get her lined up for, uh, you know, actually halfway out from the runway is actually where you're starting your landing at. Start getting her turned around and lined up. Start and slow your descent. Oh, yeah. All right, we got enough for one more. But you know, it'll probably end up being two more. Yeah, this plane will get up and scoot when you want her to. Absolute scoot when you want her to. But I tell you what, you tame them control surfaces like I have, boy, she'll fly just as sweet and pretty. But you let that sucker go in high rates, 100% throws, and you've got yourself a beast. An absolute aerobatic beast. Yeah, oh boy, am I enjoying this plane. I am enjoying this plane. Y'all watching my video right now, you can feel my smile. <laughs> yeah. You know what? They say this plane does fine in the grass. So, yeah. So we took off in the grass there. Let's land in the grass. A little bit of grass hops there for you. Not bad at all. Got 43 seconds. Not bad at all. Seconds. Not wanting to push her.
Oh! <laughs> well, folks, there you go. That is the OMP Hobby Super Decathlon. And folks, I couldn't be more pleased. You a happy plane? You're a happy plane. Motor off. Folks, let's check. I ran as a six minute timer, minus 17 seconds, okay? There's no wind today, just so y'all know. No wind at all. Let's see what kind of battery life that I have left. 53, 54% left, basically on a six minute timer, and I flew her fairly hard. So you could get seven, eight, seven, eight minutes easy with a little bit of throttle management. All right, folks. And just so you know, that's where I got my 3200 4S all the way forward. I mean, the strap, I'm going to probably move these straps back a little bit. It's one strap back a little bit. Folks, there you go. And uh, show you my receiver is right there. Like I said, I'm probably going to switch to a... Uh, six channels so i can take advantage of changing the light pattern but uh make sure you do the mod um this they ch show you to do this in the instructions you, there's a little channel here there's a very obvious thumb you can see it a little piece is, is obvious you pop that out and trim that off and then back here there's two places you can feel there's a hole right here two holes here you can feel with your finger pop those out to both of them that way that air has somewhere to go and you won't blow off your battery or receiver hatch this right here like i did luckily i found it all right folks y'all have a good one and don't forget faith family friends and then planes bye-bye